As one might expect, the senator's management team tends to downplay his gaffes, which are few and far between, that is political, and publicize his political achievements, which are numerous. So this sentence is clearly trying to say that what is political are his gaffes. And so political needs to be over there. We need to get rid of the sentences that have that is political added on the end. On top of that, they're plural, so they should be are, <laughs> that are political, gaffes that are political. So we get rid of that. Um, gaffes, um, which are few and far between, that are political. Remember, restrictive phrases like gaffes that are political, uh, the that should go right after gaffes. Um, so we can get rid of choice D as well. And so choice C and E put political right in front of gaffes, which makes it easier to um, read, gets rid of some words. So um, they tend to downplay his political gaffes, which are few and far between, and publicize his political achievements. That sounds parallel. E has downplay his political gaffes, which, uh, gaffes, which are few and far between, publicize it, publicize it by political achievements. Well, that doesn't have contrast. C has downplaying the one and publicizing the other. E has uh, downplaying the one publicizing it by the other, which is not, why would they want to publicize his political gaffes? Gaffes are mistakes. They're not trying to say, hey, everybody, look at the mistakes our candidate made. That's terrible. So choice C is clearly the correct answer.